What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. I apologize I have been so absent lately. I have just been slammed slammed with uh, guided fishing trips lately. So if you guys are interested in a guided fishing trip, go ahead and shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com. We can do kayaking or beach fishing. But I have just been slammed, so I haven't had much time for YouTube. But I figured I'd go ahead and get this video out there for y'all. It's a little bit of a throwback. I know I left some of my surf fishing friends on, on the edge there, uh, you know. I had put out the videos the day before the last day of the pomp stomp and I never put out the final video of the pomp stomp and put out the results but figured I'd go ahead and put up this video show you all the last day of the pomp stomp and let you know how it turned in turned out but I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight into the video y'all stick with it all right all right everybody like I said in the intro it is the last day of the pomp stomp and I'm going for a Hail Mary this morning I'm sure a lot of y'all probably recognize exactly where I'm at but I figure, you know, last day, fished for about three weeks. Got some good ones. I need some, some studs this morning. I'm trying to load up on fleas before I walk out. You know, once you get out there, definitely not easy to come back. So trying to get some, some live fleas before I head out that way. I got a few ghost shrimp in my cooler. And uh, we'll see. I'm gonna. I threw out a ghost shrimp uh, while you know, just kind of while I'm scooping to see if we can get anything. You never know. Bright and early, and I got my first fish of the morning. <laughs> oh, he doesn't feel bad. Yeah. Bumpy boy. <coughs> Whew. That's a good way to break the ice. And a huge one, but he is definitely a pump. Oh. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buddy. I got my first one pretty quick. Certainly not a stomp worthy one, but it is a good start. Either way, we'll go ahead and sail that sucker back out there. Got a decent amount of fleas so far. Definitely want to get some more. I'd like to fill my pocket up before I walk down there. Like I said, I, I'm gonna do some hiking on the moon rocks this morning, but I need, need to get some good bait before I do it that way. I don't get out there and run out of bait and have to come back and scoop and all that. So probably give it about another 10 or 20 minutes of scooping, just trying to load up on them. And then I'll make my way down there. But I got some good ones. Uh, you know, bigger than what I've been finding lately. So that's a good, good start. Just need to get me some more. Not a bad scoop. Here we go. Got me another one. Oh yeah. Feels like a decent fish. That's not what I want to see. A little stinky hard head. Not what I'm wanting there. All right, I think what I'm gonna do is not throw this one back out and try to get some more bait and then make my, my trick. That two fish started, ain't bad. All right, <clears throat> well, I got my bait secured for the morning. Now I'm headed out. It's gonna be interesting trying to walk this with all this gear. So I can tell I left the dune duster in the truck this morning, got her chained down. 
don't think it would pull the best across these rocks even if I had the balloon tires but we're gonna hike out my plan is I'm gonna go out about halfway fish the bar fish all around that area work kind of the, the back side of the bar opposite how I'd normally do it from the beach you know from the beach you're casting over the bar or at the bar here I'm gonna cast from behind the bar but I think this may pay out got some insider info that a couple things I can do out here to increase my odds for the big ones like I said I, I'm after the big ones last day of the stomp got to throw the Hail Mary going for a grand slam I uh, <clears throat> got some pretty solid bags up on the on the board at this point I think first place in the aggregates over 11 pounds big fish is over four so I really need this pay off I need some some four or five pounders this morning watch uh, a couple of the guys I know that do some guiding around here I've seen them catching some big ones so once that Sun moves up I might move down a little bit go towards the end to the deep water but I'm just gonna find me a good spot set up try to see where the break is I think this spot might do me if I can find me a good solid rock to get footing on I think this one may work right here something big here he just pulled it over and just started screaming I'm not sure this is a pump no he's got a little more drama red feel to him Whew, gotta be careful on these rocks it is slippery out here God, if this is a pump, this is a good one. Oh gosh, stingray. That is certainly not what I want this morning. little cove right here Whew, that's what I gotta watch out for all right well, there's the first fish of the morning or I'm sorry third fish of the morning first fish on the rocks certainly not what I'm looking for though oh I got another stingray if you guys are looking for stingrays I can tell you exactly where to go oh this is not what I'm wanting to deal with this morning Just a freaking big old ray. Oh, 
dang it. You got me. That's what I was worried about there. Damn. Well, you know, I didn't didn't get the fish I needed that day. Uh, as you can tell, I, I just got a bunch of stingrays. But I did wind up placing in the pomp stomp. You know, I was uh, I, I I I grinded it out in the month of April. I did a lot of pompano fishing, but it paid off. I ended up getting second place in the aggregate. Um, you know, I, had, I put together a great bag. I had just over nine pounds of fish, so I had a great bag and ended up winning me a Pin Clash three thousand on a 7.6 star rod stellar. It is a perfect sight, surf casting rod, great for the trout and everything. So it all paid off. All the poppin' up fishing for the month paid off. So it was it was nice to get that. That rod is quickly transitioned to an inshore rod right now because it's, it's inshore kayak fishing time and it's offshore kayak fishing time. But it'll be seeing some beach use here soon enough. Be putting up plenty more beach fishing videos in about another month or so. You know, it's just kayak fishing's been hot lately. You know, it's it's a lot of a lot of good inshore and offshore in the kayak. So I've been real busy with that. So it was great to get this video finally put out. You know, I've been sitting on this one for a while. I know y'all, a lot of y'all have been been curious about it, but. But I finally got it together. I finally got y'all another video out. Hopefully I can get a few more out this week. I, like I said, I've just been slammed and it is 4th of July week here and it is gonna be busy, busy again. But I'm gonna try to grind a few more out for y'all. Try, try not to be as quiet as I have been. Try to keep putting some out. But I appreciate y'all sticking around with me even though I have been absent. You know, thank you guys for watching the videos. Still support me, it means the world to me. Every, every like, every comment, every subscriber, it means the world to me. But like I said at the beginning, if you guys are interested in a guided surf fishing or guided kayak fishing trip, shoot me an email at kayaking.kennedy at gmail.com or check out our website, whistlingwaters.com. But, uh, you know, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate every bit of support. I'm going to go ahead and hop out of here. I'm going to quit talking. But I will see you all in the next video.